municipal corporations. We have already studied about local administration in rural areas. The administration in urban areas is carried out by municipalities and municipal corporations. Composition The people of the city who are not less than 18 years of age elect members of the municipal corporation. To contest for elections, the person must be an Indian citizen and at least 25 years of age. The name of the candidate must also be in voters list. Elected members of municipal corporation vary between 50 to 100. These representatives elect a mayor and a deputy mayor. The elected representatives also elect experienced members called aldermen. The mayor and deputy mayor are elected for a one-year term. The mayor presides over the meetings of the municipal corporation. Every municipal corporation has a chief executive officer, CEO, who is also called the municipal commissioner. The state government or central government appoints him. He acts as a link between the state government and municipal corporation. Within the municipal corporation, there are several committees, each comprising of 5 to 12 members. Each committee has a chairperson. Two of these important committees are health and education. Municipalities Cities with a population between 20,000 and 5 lakh have a municipality or municipal council. The number of members of a municipality depends on the size of its population. The city is divided into several wards for the purpose of election of these members. One candidate is elected from each ward. The entire adult population in the city are eligible to vote. People above the age of 25 can contest the municipal election. The elected members elect a few experienced and respected citizens of the city who are called aldermen. Some seats are reserved for scheduled castes, scheduled tribes and women. The term of office in a municipality is five years. The state government passes municipal acts which lay down the powers, functions and sources of income for the municipality. Functions of Municipal Corporation and Municipality The main functions of a municipality and municipal corporation can be listed as under A. To maintain proper hygiene and sanitation ensured through regular cleaning of drains and removal of wastewater to prevent spread of diseases. B. To open schools to educate children especially at the primary and secondary levels and to set up night schools and adult education centers. C. To supply safe drinking water and make arrangement for street lighting. D. To construct roads and bridges. E. To maintain records of births and deaths and issue certificates. F. To provide and maintain cremation grounds, electric crematorium and graveyards, etc. G. To construct and maintain marketplaces for selling vegetables, fruits, consumer goods, etc. H. Construction of parks, gardens, picnic spots, night shelters, etc. I. Construction of public toilets and lavatories. J. To manage electric supply, water works, bus services, etc. Sources of income A. Taxes on land and property and on maintaining electricity and water supply. B. Duty on goods coming into and going out of the city. C. Income from rent on municipal property. D. 
taxes on shops, markets and commercial institutions. E. Grants and loans from the state government. Control on local bodies. The central and state governments supervise the work of municipality and municipal corporations and ensure that they function well. In case the people are not satisfied with the working of these local bodies, they have the power to take action against them or to dissolve them. Since we pay for the services provided by the government, the government makes sure that our interests are protected. For ensuring this, the government has introduced many forums for the redressal of people's grievances. Some of them are A. Consumer Courts B. Lok Adalats C. Public Interest Litigation D. Residence Welfare Organizations Nagar Panchayats An area which is bigger than the village but smaller than a city is known as Town. Towns have a Nagar Panchayat which is an elected body. Its members are elected by the registered voters of that area. The age of the voters must not be less than 18 years and that of the members must not be less than 21 years. Their functions include overseeing water supply, health care, sanitation, construction and maintenance of town roads and drainage system, etc. They also keep records of births and deaths, open health centers and primary schools. In order to perform various functions, they need money. Their sources of income include house tax, sales tax, vehicles tax, etc. and financial assistance from the government. Keywords at a glance Conurbation A large continuous system of suburbs surrounding a city Sanitation Cleanliness Alderman A member of municipal committee or council in many jurisdictions Cremation To burn on funeral pyre Redress Setting right of what is wrong Grievances, complaints, problems. Memory tips. A metropolitan area or metropolis is a large city or conurbation which is a significant economic, political or cultural center for a country or region. Delhi is the second most populous city after Mumbai and most populous urban agglomeration in India and third largest urban area in the world. Chennai is one of the Indian cities most visited by foreign tourists and is the 47th most visited city in the world. The administration in urban areas are carried out by municipal corporations and municipalities. The elected members of municipal corporation elect mayor and deputy mayor. Municipal corporation and municipality maintain proper hygiene and sanitation ensured through regular cleaning of drains and removal of wastewater to prevent spread of diseases. An area which is bigger than the village but smaller than a city is known as town.